If you're wanting to learn more about Photopea and how to create mock-ups using Photopea, this is the video for you. Hi, I'm Emery, and today I'm going to show you a more in-depth tutorial on how to add your candle design to a video mock-up or a regular mock-up without using Photoshop. So, hi, if you're new here, I create and sell digital mock-ups for the print-on-demand seller. I am been a photographer for many years now, and I am just started documenting my journey and trying to educate and build a community of like-minded people because why not? Yay! But yes, I hope this video helps you, and after a quick disclaimer, we'll jump right into it. Before we hop into this, a quick disclaimer. What I'm going to walk you through today is not the most realistic, and it does take some time. The most realistic way and the most time sensitive way to do this is by using the Photoshop Smart Object mockups. And I have already created those for you on multiple different mockups. You can find those in the link below. And what those are is just, I've already created the design, where your design goes on the candle, I've already created a file, I mean a layer that makes it look realistic as if you had the actual product. So I do highly recommend those. It saves you so much time, but anyways, let's jump into it. So for us to get the final product, we will have to use a few different websites. So the first and foremost is of course Printify, Photop, since we're not using Photoshop, and I use Canva. These are the mockups I'll be directly working on today. And as you can find later, this process will work for a lot of mockups. You just have to play with it. But first thing we have to do, of course, is go to the candle that we are using. And this is the Lumiant Scented Soy Candle 9 ounce that I have the mock-up of here. And I'm just going to go in and start designing. And I'm going to place the label that I want on the mock-up. So, do I have one? I do. Nice. So, now we go to Preview. And for this specific mock-up, we are going to use Context 3. First things first. So once that loads, you press this download mock-up button down here and you'll get it downloaded. Now we go to photo P and we press open from computer and just double click that. So what we're doing here is we are just grabbing this physical design here so we can bring it over and overlay it onto our mock-up. It may look dingy and not the most quality. That's just photo PV and photo P is why I definitely recommend Photoshop. But don't worry, it'll look fine when we export it. So there's two ways we can do this. We can go to quick selection, which is this button here, which looks like a brush around some dotted lines. And what that does is you, when you hold it down, it will select, it will try to be smart and select kind of the gist what you're getting. So since I don't have them all selected here, I'm just gonna drag over it. But now we have that selected, that's annoying. To fix that, you just hold Alt and do the same. Yeah, so we try to get that as good as possible, but don't worry, the next step, we will make it look fine. So Alt, get rid of that. Boom. So now I have most. Perfect. So now I'm going to press this refine edge button and this creates a mask so you can refine the edge. And when you see over here, there's three different colors. So what they do is they erase or replace the mask. So as you can see, the edges here aren't the most crisp and we want them as crisp as possible. Granted, this isn't going to be perfect, okay? And how I make my brush larger or smaller without pressing all these buttons is I actually press these two. See, this makes it smaller. This makes it bigger. I don't know what those keys are called. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, so I'm on the white. I'm just going to do the most time consuming thing in my life and making this as crisp as possible. Just go through there and refine it. So you think this is really time consuming, then we can press OK. I'm going to press Control Z to undo all this to show you the other way. And I press Control D to deselect. Now we're going to try the magnetic lasso tool. So it's this one right here. And when you press that, you actually click. I'm doing Control plus to zoom in. You click the edges and it's kind of it kind of has an idea. But you say, oh, I don't like, let me get to one. Say we don't like a point. 
So all we have to do is press backspace and it d deletes. So you just go around, try to keep it as crisp as possible. So we minimize our time as much as possible. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm not holding, I'm not holding my mouse down, FYI. I'm just dragging it. And once we're finished up, all we have to do is press the first one we made. See, that looks nice. But now we shall really see. Now we press Refine Edge up here. Can I refresh? No. Well, mine glitched and I couldn't refine that edge. I'm gonna press Refine Edge again. See, this is why I like Photoshop. Bear with me, I'll, I'll get it fixed. Okay, so I'm back to the refine edge. I am blocking ads. It's probably why well, it's not working. Oopsie. I don't want no ads. Okay. So we're back to this step. And we're just going to make this as crispy. I'm really just focusing on the edges. Well, duh. I mean the curves. Maybe. What am I doing? We have that now all selected to our whatever. I press OK, which was in the corner, and now I'm just gonna go to File, Export As, and then do PNG so there's a transparent background. So now I'm going to hop over to Canva where I have my files already, and I'm going to upload the one I just created, the label file. So while that loads, I'm going to get this as shapely as possible. So before you come at me saying, oh, this looks so bad, it looks doesn't look realistic at all. I mean, yes, not at the moment, but once we get it adjustment, adjusted, then it'll look much better. So I'm gonna raise my brightness a wee. Already looking better, baby. I'm gonna give me some more contrast. I'm going to work on the highlights. And there we go, whites. Very good. I'm gonna do a little more blacks. Look at that, that looks realistic. As realistic as you can without the Photoshop. But say you don't have Canva and you're not able to actually adjust this in here, I recommend going back to Photo P and going to Image Adjustments in playing with these. I would do a little bit of brightness, probably some, a little bit of contrast. Okay, now I'm gonna go back and do levels. I'm gonna play with this key right here. Not drastically, just a little wee bit. Okay, and then I'm going to go to, is there shadows? Yes, good job. So we're gonna reduce, weird, you can get very, you can get very in depth. What, you can change all that? How neat. Very cool. Let's play with that and then do the same thing. Go to file, export as, PNG, save. Then I'm gonna go over here and upload it. Let's see the difference. Too big. And again, once you get those adjustments made over there as well, you can bring it back to Canva and still, first let me delete that one. Let's scoot this. Try to get it as fitting as possible. It might have to be a smidge bigger just because for some reason, the Printify labels, the sizes, once they're printed, are not the exact same as the actual design file, which that's why I actually created mockups. It doesn't make any sense. That's why I have to do all this back stuff. But the, like I said, the Smart Optic mockups, this looks great and I'll show you at the end. But we're gonna do some more adjustments. You know, get just looking like 
as good as we can. Yeah, I'm gonna take away all. Okay, none of those, actually. Okay, perfect. Nice! See, and now we just export this as an MP4. Not all pages, it's this one. And boom, we'll have it. But do you see how long that took? That took like, what, 10 minutes? See, if I go to the Photoshop mockup, or Photo-P, whichever one, and I go to File, Place, Embedded, Enter, Control-S, Export, and I'm done. See how, and look how good it looks. It looks so professional compared to, you know. Oh well. But I hope this helped you. Um, I really hope that I went in depth enough and this is understandable. I know it's a lot to chew on, but you don't know what you don't know. You're not dumb. So I want to reassure you that it just takes time and I hope things aren't frustrating for you, but that's just part of the journey if it is. And yeah, again, I'm Emery and I'm so glad you hung out with me today. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know. I love talking to you guys. It's so fun. Um, but yeah, thanks again for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.